The enemies of truth have decided to start off the new year with a bang by completely shutting down without warning or reason the International Flat Earth Research Society Forum. In just 10 months, we accumulated over 3,000 members and averaged over 50,000 visitors per month, which was apparently too much flat earth truth for the internet to handle. According to ProBoard section 25A, they claim the right to shut down any forum for any reason at any time, which they enforced without a word to myself or the other admins on New Year's Eve. This was not the first act of censorship by ProBoards as well. A few months ago, they also threatened to delete our entire forum if we didn't remove within 48 hours the thread for my documentary Adolf Hitler vs. the Jew World Order, claiming racism and hate speech. We begrudgingly complied, but all sent very polite and in-depth messages to ProBoards explaining how nothing in the documentary was hateful or racist and were received with similar silence. It's clear that the Jew shills have had enough and they're in overdrive trying to shut down the true Eifers flat earth renaissance while simultaneously setting up all of their controlled opposition fake flat earthers to infiltrate, co-opt, and assimilate the flat earth movement like the Borg. Contrary to their mantra, however, resistance is not futile, and their desperate, underhanded attempts to stop the flat earth truth from surfacing will all fail. Several months ago, their fake Flat Earther agents Paul Chieft and Polarization Nation Media both attempted to have my YouTube channel shut down by issuing two fraudulent copyright strikes against me, both of which I managed to overturn by filing legal counterclaims against them. Around that time, Facebook also decided to jump on the Eric Dubé censorship bandwagon by deleting my account, all my pages, and giving my Atlantean conspiracy group directly over to a team of fake flat earth shills who still administrate it to this day, filling the group with nothing but death threats to me, pictures of Masonic goats, and ridiculous belittling memes. After re-registering for new accounts and accumulating my friends lists again, Facebook has now deleted two more profiles, and I'm currently on my fourth. Paul Michael Bales, admittedly with Jewish funding, has now recently created a fake clone Eifers site where he ex post facto declares himself president of Eifers and bought 50 other flat earth domain names which he and his team are busy making lousy websites for, none of which have seen any censorship. Even though I have provably been researching and spreading flat earth truth since 2009, Paul has repeatedly lied claiming to be the Morpheus to my Neo and to have awoken me to flat earth in 2014. He admits himself to having only become a flat earther in 2013, but has the gall to continue claiming he taught me everything several years after I had already been publicly posting articles about geocentricity and linking to Samuel Robotham's flat earth book. As I have declared many times before, I will never cease writing and speaking the truth regardless of threats or how many times and ways I'm censored. They say those who are directly over the target receive the most flack. No other flat earther has received nearly the level of hatred, threats, and censorship that I have. None of the dozens of shill forums started by Ascensi, Paul Bales, Plain Truth, and others have been deleted or censored whatsoever. When the enemy wins a battle or gains ground, we must simply regain the ground lost and continue fighting. So the real Eifers will now continue at Eifers.ace.st, where the authentic Flat Earth Renaissance is still taking place and taking over.